Hi, I'm Haley with the Cozy Kangaroo, and I'm going to show you how to do a front wrap cross carry using a either stretchy wrap like a Moby or a Boba or a woven wrap. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a Moby, and this is a stretchy wrap. And first thing you want to do is find the tag in the middle. All or most wraps come with a tag that lets you know what the middle is. And I'm going to stick that tag under my chin. And I'm going to take these edges and I'm going to put them under my arms and cross them in the back. Just to do that, I'll show you what it looks like in the back. I'm going to take them and I'm going to do one at a time. Bring it over my shoulder. And you want to keep it as straight and flat as you can so it doesn't get tangled or bunched. And I'm going to do the same thing over the top. All right. Now this is going to create an X in your back. <laughs> I had my baby playing with paper. <laughs> All right, so I've got the X in the back. And for a small baby, you kind of want to maybe tug a little bit to make this pocket um, a little tight. So when you go to put your baby in, um, you don't have to adjust all that much. So I'm going to be demonstrating with my daughter, Harper. She's six months old. And she's pretty small. I'm going to give it a little tug. Um, if I were going to do this with a toddler, I may not want to, I may want to loosen this up a little. So here we go. Here's Harper. Again, she's six months old. Hey, go, Avery. <laughs> and I'm going to put Harper over my shoulder. And I'm going to support her with one hand on her leg. And with this hand, I'm going to slip her through the pockets. I'm going to slip her all the way through. Now, with a small baby, you want to make sure that you're supporting the back of their neck. But she's got really good head and neck control, so she should be all right. Tuck her shirt in. Thank you, honey. Alright, so Avery's got, I'm not, sorry, I'm looking at Avery. Harper's got good head and neck control, like I said earlier. So I can pull the fabric up to her arms. And with a smaller baby, you want to just tuck the arms in and pull the fabric, baby to the back, to the back of the ears. And tuck this bottom part between you and the baby. So again, support the baby with one hand and tuck fabric between the two of you with the other. You can even take your hand in and pull the fabric up to make sure you got a good seat because that's how your baby is going to stay secure is with that fabric tucked between you two. Now, you want to make sure that you've got fabric going from the hollow of this knee to the hollow of this knee and under the bum. You want to make sure that the knees are higher than the bottom and that will ensure you have a really good position. So I've got fabric behind the knee and now I'm ready to tighten. So. What you do, you take the edge of fabric that's closest to you and the baby, that's closest to your neck, and you want to tighten by going up and out. And you want to take each strand and pinch and pull, strand by strand, and that's going to tighten everything from the top all the way to the bottom. And as you tighten, like I'm doing, you're going to be able to feel it tighten under your arm over here. So now I've got this one tight. I'm going to hold it with one, with one hand. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. And this is why it's so important to not get it bunched up and keep it flat so you can pull the right strand. So I'm going to take it and I'm tightening piece by piece. So you just want to do a pinch and pull. Pinch and pull. And now that you've got both tightened, kind of give it a little tug. And then you're going to crisscross it in the front and go behind her legs. So I'm going to take these, crisscross, go behind her little legs. And then I'm just going to double knot in the back to hold her in place. Now if you're a tail, tails are really long. So for some of you it might be. I'm kind of short. So I can always bring crisscross it in the back and bring the tail in the front and tighten the front, but it doesn't really matter. It's just preference. All right, so she's in. Now, with a woven wrap, you're good to go. That's all you have to do. But since I'm in a stretchy wrap and it's stretchy, I'm going 
to add a little more security to the wrap. So this is one layer of protection and I need two more layers. So the panel that's closest to the baby, you want to pull over. Hey baby. You want to pull over. It's where it's going behind the hollow of the knee to the opposite shoulder. <laughs> and you want to do the same thing on the other panel. You just want to just kind of bring it over. And again, you don't have to do this with a woven because it doesn't stretch. But with a Moby or stretchy wrap, there is a lot of give. So you want to make sure that you've um, got her nice and secure. All right, and you should be ready to go. If you've got um, a leg straightener, a baby that likes to tighten up and straighten their legs, you can take your palms put them under their heels and kind of hold onto their legs and push up a little bit and that'll reinforce that seat and get them in a good spread squat position. So her little booty is lower than her knees and her knees are lined up with her shoulders and we are ready to go. Thank you.